Well, Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome back. I took last Wednesday off. <laughs> it's been a long couple of weeks between the holiday and the two litters of puppies and planning for a baby shower and there's just been a lot going on. I hope you all had a great holiday. A lot of babies being born, a lot of people sick. Let me uh, turn the volume down because that's going to cause a problem, isn't it? There we go. <coughs> Done lost it. There we go. This year we're going to be doing some things, different things, not just wreaths, but we're going to have all kinds of stuff going on. Um, I thought I would make a kissing ball tonight. Have you guys ever made a kissing ball? This is a four inch styrofoam ball and I thought it'd be nice to make one of these. I'm just going to use red carnations and some spackle um, snowball mesh. All right. I already cut these five by five. <coughs> so I took a 10 inch roll, cut it in half and then measured them out at five inches. All right. So let's get started. Now I'm trying to find the middle on this because I kind of want it kind of looking romantic like. I didn't want to just place the, the red carnations in there. I thought it'd be nice to add the little um, snowball mesh to it. Kind of spruce it up a little. You can do different colors. What I did was I took some um, Valentine's ribbon and I just made a loop at the top for hanging. And I'm just using this, this um, candle to hold it for now until I get to that part. Okay. So again, I'm just finishing this down in the middle of the mesh. It's easy to just poke it right through the mesh. Now you could use these for a wedding. <coughs> you could use them to make like an arrangement in the middle of the table and then do two smaller ones on the side. So there's a lot you can do with these kissing balls. They are very old. The original kissing balls were made for Christmas. And they were just made out of a ball of twine. And then they added twigs. And um, and usually some, just some little, uh, <coughs> excuse me, some little greenery to it. See how it's looking so far? These are actually coming back. These are actually getting really popular. But wouldn't that even be cute as a bouquet for a wedding? Just carry it by the handle. I think that would be so unique. They used to be just for Christmas, but they're also for Valentine's Day. I think that tail's a little too long. <coughs> Excuse me. I've not been sick. I don't want to get sick. Just have a little tickle. Let me see. I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing the comments. There we go. Hi, Carla. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Sue. So it's just a matter of putting a little glue on there and pushing it in. I think I'm going to hang this up in my bedroom. Maybe it'll give my husband an idea. <laughs> I'll probably have to explain what it is first. But like I 
said, you can use any size ball. With the little ones, I'd probably do little, little tiny flowers. There, I'll put it on its side. That'll make it easier to go around. But yeah, they hung these in their doorway and it was to give people good luck for the holiday season. And they would hang mistletoe from it also. We need to get back to stuff like that. Encouraging people to make love, not war. But wouldn't that be cute even for a little flower girl to carry? Just have a basket of flowers. Oh, geez, I hope I don't run out of mesh. Maybe I'll do every other row with the mesh. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you don't mind, spread the love. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to reach a thousand on my YouTube channel. Hi, Dawn. Oh, that'd be great, Brenda. <coughs> Dawn, I've had a friend that had a her had a granddaughter born yesterday, and then Mel had a granddaughter born yesterday. There's babies popping out at left and right. But it's not in the middle of a snowstorm. So it looks like for a four inch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is what I got around. Thank you all. Hi, Wilhelmina. How are you? That's a little too long. You could, if you even wanted to, use pom poms, okay? And these are carnations, so they spread out pretty good, and they are covering the styrofoam ball. I did see one, a lady made one for, <coughs> and she didn't use it as a kissing ball, but she made it as um, a centerpiece for uh, a wedding. And what she did was she drew on the ball where she wanted the white, where she wanted the red, where she wanted the pink. Um, just like an outline to stay in. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. And I thought, you know, I could leave this as this if I wanted. <coughs> and then put these two little ones next to it. And do them in a little white. Um, bud rose or red bud rose would that look pretty just as a real pretty arrangement I went and tied and if you all saw I oh you didn't see I did a top hat in our group and I actually covered some little votive candle holders with some uh, ribbon wire ribbon that I took the wire out of What I'll do on the next row, I'll put it in between the other two. Boy, this looking pretty. I had all these carnations left over. Well, they were bought for another project and I never got to do it. It's like, what a perfect thing to use on the kissing ball. Everybody congratulate Dawn. She's got a new grandson. And I bet she smelled so good. The 
Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, I'm loving this. Looks like I need three more up here. I have a grandson due in June, and I have a grandson or grandson due in February, and a grandson due in June. So it is going to be baby, baby, baby everywhere. This is so easy with the styrofoam, just pushing it in. No pins needed. Hoping I have enough of this. I could have done all, just all carnations, but I just wanted it to look really, really romantic. So. Dawn, my inventory is low on those cubbies. I'm going to have to order some new. Is there a theme for the baby's room? I want to get some woodland animals. That seems to be what my daughter-in-law's themes are going to be. they pick out a name yet? He looked adorable. Okay, there's the top. Now again, this is a four inch. All right, so we've got 10, 17, 18. So there's one side of it so far. Okay. It just makes it easier to hold it in place doing that with the candle. So these are five by five. And Wilhelmina, I will have the the gnomes, the Valentine's gnomes, gnomes, hopefully done by the end of the week. Oh, Logan is a really nice name. My son and daughter-in-law are just struggling. They have no idea what to call the baby. Trying to make it 
I don't want it to like anybody else. <laughs> I have a lot of friends with children and they want the name to be different but have meaning. So. Okay, so you want an elephant, a blue elephant. Okay. So I may have one left. If I don't, um, it won't take long to come in. I always save my stems for stuff. I don't always remember to use it, but I do save them. What I just do is I go in between the last row. You know what I mean. <laughs> There's two. Most of our team members are on here tonight. We got Susan from AC Inspired Wreaths. Got Dawn from Dawn's Wreath Decor. We've got Carla from the One Stop Boutique. Um, Rita is Rita on from Rita's Wreath Barn. Oh, that was probably really cute, Maggie. And then we have Forever Dreams of You by Lavon. And Sandy Pastor has. Oh! I always forget it when I get to Sandy. Tell me, Sue. should write these down. There's seven of us. We have a paid design group. We do two lives a week. Trending Designs by Sandy. Thank you. I appreciate that, girlfriend. Candle is really helping. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. We do everything in our design group. Reasonable designs. A lot of the stuff is one of a kind. And we have so much planned for 2010. If you guys are thinking about joining, now's the time. There's Levine. I'm actually going to do a diaper cake the next time I'm on, which remind me, Don, when am I on next? I know we changed it, and I don't know what we changed it to. There, Don put a link to our group. Team of Dream Designers. We have it. We have some members. A good amount. We do um, Zoom calls, so you can talk to us, and we can talk to you. It's not like here where you're always typing. have a lot of fun. I'm not seeing any. Lori's one of our members. Lori from Hardworking Mom. She's got a great YouTube um, group starting up, teaching you how to make your way on YouTube. Now, how did I forget to take that leaf off? Well, we're just going to snip it. So I'm not going to get that out for sure. And I didn't want green in there. There we go. Okay, two more up 
top here. These were all from the Dollar Tree, y'all. So there's Joy. She's one of our members. Hi, Joy. She can tell you about our group. We've enjoyed having her. Okay, thank you. The baby shower is the 25th of January. I started the centerpieces. Carla was real helpful in in uh, giving me feedback. And now I thought of a bunch more things I can make. And I thought of stuff I can share in our group, but I can't share till after the shower. So I could tape some of the stuff and then just play it later. Excuse me. <coughs> How's that looking so far? Okay, so we got one row and a middle to do. So we'll need one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So really, we've only used, there's five in each, five, no, six in each one of these. So it's really not too expensive. <coughs> right now, I think the most expensive thing, no, I'm not. <laughs> I take uh, colloidal silver. It's just, I have been down here working and trying to put everything away and clean up, and I have stirred up a bunch of dust, for sure. No, I cannot get sick. I can't afford to be sick. My husband would kill me if I got sick. He doesn't want to take... Thank you, Levon. Oh, thank you, Joy. Joy's one of our members. See, she's telling you about our group. Telling you how much she enjoys it. And see, I didn't really have to paint the ball either, which is nice. Because this mesh, between the mesh and the flowers, it's covering up the base. Oh, that would be pretty. That would look great, Carla. I don't want to squish the flowers underneath, so you kind of have to be delicate there. Thank you, Joy. I even have some beads, because I, I just love pearls. I love them, and I like putting them in, except I was looking for my small ones. I have some really small beads, pearls that I think would look awesome in here, and I can't find them. And I'm going to be making some hearts to sell. I actually got a hold of some, um, well, one so far, a red cable knit sweater. I met the lady yesterday. I saw it online and I met her and she said, oh, it's just going to look so pretty on your child. And I said, yeah. And I'm thinking, this ain't going on a child. I'm cutting this sucker up. <laughs> Make it a 
heart out of it. Oh, okay. Hi, Janice. Welcome. So you thinking of doing one of these for the wedding, Carla? <clears throat> so pretty I saw them done as a table um, centerpiece but I think it would just look so pretty you guys are spreading the love for me right I appreciate it Did y'all watch my puppy video today? I tried to go live on YouTube and then it didn't work right. And then the Mebo never shut off. So I had to go back and tape it again. Doesn't this just look romantic? Woo! I think they would be pretty, wouldn't they? Okay, one more, and I think we got it. And then <clears throat> we can hang some ribbon from the bottom. Thought that would look pretty. And this was just leftover mesh that I had laying around. Exactly 10 inches. <clears throat> You're right, Dawn's telling everybody you can cancel at any time. You won't want to do that because you're just going to have so much fun. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Doesn't that look pretty? Now, what we'll do, since I left like a little opening here at the bottom. <clears throat> Thought it'd be even cute to like hang you could if you wanted hang a big old bow at the bottom but I'm not liking that with it so I think just dangling some ribbon at the bottom would be nice We're having group tonight. Yvonne Levon's going to be our um, designer tonight, and she's got an awesome project. I even had these beads. I didn't know if I wanted to add these. I had these from the Dollar Tree. Let me just see what it would look like. It may be just too fancy for it. I don't know. What do you think? <coughs> wanted something dangling from the bottom. I'll have to be careful because uh, we have low ceilings and my husband is 6'5 and <laughs> I may have to hang it over the bed because if I hang it in the room he'll hit his head on it for sure. That poor guy hits his head on everything. We've looked at houses and we walk in and he bangs his head into a light fixture. I mean, you name it. 
Thanks, enjoy it. Poor guy. Hi, Peggy. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. I just thought I'd layer a bunch of ribbon. But I think it needs some white ribbon, too. Um, I can add it later. I'll just do this for now. I won't glue this because that way I can take it apart and add some white ribbon to it. Oop, it wasn't quite in the center. <laughs> it was off a little bit. Let's move it. I think the center is about here. Hi, Diane from Michigan. There we go. But would that look cute hanging? It's still not right. Still has to go over. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I had a pin at the bottom in the middle. I should have just looked for the pin. <laughs> There we go. Wouldn't that look cute just as decoration? Or you could cover this with fabric and you could put this on top of here. And like I said, put some small ones around it. There's a kissing ball. And they're not for Christmas anymore. Now I think in order to get this to lay, I'm gonna twist this big ribbon this way. So this goes this way and that goes that way. <clears throat> Right? I know. <laughs> that would have been me. All right. Now, I may want to jack this up, Levon. So, I tease Levon. She likes it when I say I want to jack it up. <clears throat> See, I might want to put some of these in there. Let me just try this. Let's see that's what I want to do. This was purchased at Michael's a while ago. Thank you, Tracy. How was your Christmas? Darn lock. I love that picture of that bed you posted today. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Yep, bling that thing. You got it. I'm just going to put a few here and there. I'm not going to glue them yet because I want to see if I want to put them there. I'm going to use a knitting needle to poke a hole in here because <clears throat> it's folding up on me. We like to bling that thing, don't we, Carla? We bling and jack up in our group. And like I said, I love pearls. It was good. I'm glad it's finally over. <laughs> a lot of stress. I have a, a shop and I had a lot of custom orders. I don't know. Does that look too... See, I think it'd be better with my little beads. My little pearls and I don't know where they went see there's one <laughs> see I thought I think these might be too big or this would just be perfect just little little pearls jetting out all over it that's the what I envisioned so I'll have to look for them because I think this is just too much. Or what I could do, instead of the whole branch, just do like the little ones. You know what I mean? Little sprays here and there. Maybe that would be better. 
I'm going to take a picture of this. I am going to put it over my bed. I am all about Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. There, I think that gives it just, a, that's better. Just like one little piece of it. Can you see it? it? Like, it's in there, but it's just, what do you think? <clears throat> yes, two litters, Tracy. Going nuts. Now is supposed to be the easy time, but the moms have decided... Well, since I'm feeding the puppies, you can feed me. So they don't want to eat. I have to feed them. They're smart. They've been doing this a while. They know the routine. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but yeah. And then, oh my gosh, she was on some medication and it made her drowsy and she rolled over on one of the puppies. And I had to do CPR on the puppy. You talk about, I, I worked 15 minutes on that puppy and finally got her breathing on her own. Her tongue was black. I found her under mom. Oh, sure. Let me see if I can do that. Is that better? Can you see better, Shirley? The scariest thing I ever had to do. Yes, very, very, very scary. Oh, I mean, I found the puppy. I keep counting them, and when I found her under there, I just freaked. Thank God for Tina. She's my breeder, and no matter what time, day or night, if I have a question, I can just call her. And she'll just answer my question and she's like start CPR just keep going don't worry about how long it takes you you could be working on her for up to a half an hour she will come around and she did and then I put her back on her mom put her with her mom and she just started sucking away there I was all panicked and she was fine so like I said, it's it's uh, it's not an easy thing to do being a breeder. People think, oh, you know, <clears throat> Mama has the puppies, and all you got to do is take care of Mama. It's not that way. So, like I said, it's scary. <clears throat> definitely um i shook afterwards it's like i'm really good at reacting but then afterwards i fall apart so i fell apart but she's doing awesome she's gaining everything's fine so yeah Never a dull moment. First mama popped them out in three hours. Second mama, I ended up taking her to the emergency vet. She had to have a C-section. And that was so foggy that night. But she's fine. The puppies are all gaining. You're welcome, Shirley. Oh, that's a cute name. I'm just trying to like stagger these here and there. Just give it a little pop of. I'm just jacking it up and blinging it up. Right, Levon? Right, Carla? Seriously, guys, you should really think about joining our group. Yes, like Miracle. She's doing awesome. 
with her, she was just born premature, really premature. So, you know, I had to feed her and everything. So that was that was hard, but she is she is doing so good. And this is the same mama. This is Miracle's mom, just a different dad to this litter. Yippers. Yeah, in fact, I was supposed to do the, gr the group. The, I was supposed to be the designer in our group tonight, and I said, <laughs> I can't do it. I, I can't do Monday nights because I have my live, and then as soon as I'm done my live, I got to go up and start feeding the mama dogs. So, thank God that Ravon stepped up and said she would do it for me. Cause I didn't want to let everybody down but at the same time you know it takes a while to feed them because the the one mama to the black litter she's um I'm spoon feeding her So yeah, it's not an easy job. It's a 24 seven job and people think it's the easiest thing in the world and it's not. Yeah. And you know, what's really neat. They kept the name miracle, which, and they added my name into her AKC name. So, oh, thank you, Shirley. Hi, John. Hey, how's my cousin? It's the only one of my cousins who pops in now and then. Love you, buddy. Need to see ya. We need to get together. Where are you living now? See that? He take, He loves me. He's a good guy. Blinging it up. And I'm going to put it right over the bed in the bedroom. But like I said, I'll have to tell my husband what it is. And then he'll be worried it's going to fall on him. <laughs> okay, see you in a few, Carla. Yay, I inspired Carla. That's, that's all I want. I don't, you know, you guys know. That's why I do this. You think it's easy getting on here all the time and trying to come up with something new? It's not. <clears throat> but if you inspire one person, that makes it all worthwhile. And I love pictures. So send me pictures of your, your designs. I love watching other people because I get a lot of ideas. <clears throat> Trying to see where I needs one. <laughs> got one here, got one there. I know I'll step back afterwards and I'll find a spot I could have put one. But again, I just I just wanted a little bling in there, just something to. I think it looks pretty. Oops, went up too high. So what do you think? Hey Gary, hello. What do you think of our kissing ball? I'm gonna put it over the bed. In our bedroom. Like I said, I think this would be an awesome little bouquet for a, a little girl to carry in the wedding. Kissing balls are not just for Christmas. They are for any holiday. 
We need a little love in this world. So what do you think? Well, thank you. And it's all done with Dollar Tree carnations because that's the only red flower I had in my in my stash. <laughs> but you could do it. It looks so pretty with roses. You could do it with pom-poms. Like I brought a little one out here. Wouldn't this look cute with little pom-poms all around it? And I didn't have any red ones, but I am making my own pom-poms now. I bought a bunch of these, but I don't know if you've ever seen this device. It, you can find this in any sewing shop. Okay, it's made by Clover. That's how it comes apart. Do you want me to do one? Shall I do one to show you how it's done? It's super simple. Okay. What you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to open it up like this. Okay. Huh. All right. So see, that's what it looks like from the middle. And this is what it looks like. All right. <clears throat> okay. So what you do is take any yarn. Clear a space here. Get rid of some of this junk. Now I it comes usually comes in a in a plastic wrapped um, piece of cardboard. Okay. Thank you, Wilmine. And then um, all you're gonna do is start wrapping. And I am so addicted to these. Because this is, this is what they're using for baby showers, too. To make banners, or you can make a Valentine's banner. You can use these for just about everything. All right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the side where this little, like, hinge is. All right? And all I'm going to do, and maybe it's best if I show you like this. You're just going to wrap it around. That's all you're doing. All right? Now, I usually go a little heavier. Like, I don't just do a single layer. I've been doing double layers and pushing them over to get them tight. These are by far the easiest way to make a pom-pom. A it takes a little doing because you have to learn, all right? And you'll, you'll get better at it. I have. Right, I'm trying to keep this loose little piece down here, but you just keep wrapping. All right, I should just throw this on the floor that way, it can just roll around on the floor and be out of my way. Some people put them in containers and put a hole in the lid and then it just sits in the container. All right, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. All right, once I get to the end here, I'm gonna shut this door. Then I'm gonna come over to the other side and then I'm gonna wrap again. Like I said, it takes, yep, I'm getting it on the heel here and I don't want it on the heel. See, this is the heel, okay? I want it just around here. You keep getting stuck on that heel until you kind of get in the middle. Now this is the bigger one. And again, this is made by Clover. Clover makes a lot of sewing um, parts for things like they have needle, Clover, Clover has needle threaders, you know, Clover is a big name in the sewing industry. You go in any Joanne fabrics or whatever, they have an, an aisle with Clover. I'm sure if you don't have one near you, you can go online and just look up Clover pom-pom maker and it came with two in a box. 
This is the bigger one of the two. Okay, so once I get to the end, I'm gonna shut it, okay? And I'm gonna keep this piece here. Actually, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna save this extra piece here, all right? Now what you're gonna do with this closed, you are gonna go up the middle of this little piece that we wrapped around and you are going to cut. Don't worry about losing your pom pom. All right. All right. So you cut all the way around. Then you cut the other, other, I call it like a horn. So you're actually cutting both sides. All right. So see how that is? I've cut both sides. Now, this is where this groove comes in handy. I thought I had a piece up here. Right. So what you do is you take this in your groove. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. And then you're going to tie this as tight as you can because it's going to actually loop around the middle of the pom-pom. See? And then I knot it. And I now what you do is you take this apart. Oops, there's one that I did I missed cutting, so we gotta cut it. I have little scissors and they actually work better getting in that groove than this pair here. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Stop being stubborn. There we go. Alright. So you're actually just popping it out and then you're just mushing it around. And like I said, keep these two and then you just go around trimming the pieces that are sticking up. That's how you make a pom-pom. And see what I do is I, I squish it down because then I'm putting all the rows kind of together and then I can see which piece is sticking above the rest. Voila. Well, hello, Esther. Welcome from Canada. Thank you for joining us. But there you go. Aren't those adorable? Now, I know Wilhelmina, you, you did some of those, um, oh, I'll get one. I did it on our group. We, we did, I taught them how to make these wreaths. And what they're doing with these wreaths is they're putting a whole bunch of different sized um, pom-poms on them. And see, so you've got your string here, so you can go down through your frame and you can tie it on. And they're just doing all different sizes. Doesn't that look adorable? Did my thing stop or am I still on? Because it something froze. Am I on or off, guys? Okay. But doesn't that look adorable? And look, here's some little yarn pink ones. And I mean, it just looks so cute with a bunch of these on there and then a nice bow. And like I said, it comes in two sizes. It's called the Clover Pom Pom Maker. And then you just put it back together and then you're gonna take it apart again and just wrap and wrap, wrap and wrap, okay. Because I it went it went blank up here and nothing down there so <laughs> okay good ah! but doesn't that look cute now wouldn't that look cute for a bridal party um, baby's room there are so many things that you can do with pom poms like I 
hope my daughter-in-law is not watching. For the baby shower, we're actually making a banner, and we're going to have pom-poms hanging from the banner that match the colors of the theme. So, so simple. So, yeah, that's from Clover. Again, you're just wrapping, wrapping, putting it together, cutting, and then you're stringing a piece through here and tying it tight and then you just pull them apart and boom you got yourself an easy peasy great looking pom-pom I can get real um, I can go into the zoom just trimming the heck out of these things <laughs> but I just think they look so cute would that look cute in a little girl's room too a little baby's room. I don't know if I have. No, I don't have them here. I have the cutest little swans that are pink and gold. But yeah. <laughs> All right, so see in group. Yeah. So you could even do one of these all in pom-poms if you wanted. I just think that would be so adorable. So many things you can do with pom-pom. And like I said, even on these little ones, you know, like just covering those with colors for Valentine's Day. I've given away a bunch of these at Christmas and I finally finished the last one and it just went out the door on Friday. And I'm um, waiting to hear my aunt's response because um, I put her initial in the middle and then I had a bunch of um, beads and old buttons, antique buttons. And boy, did they, it turned out beautiful. She's just going to love it. Esther, it's on here. You can go back and hit the replay. Um, all you have to do is go back into videos It'll be on the left-hand side on Facebook. Just go back into videos and re-watch it. No problem. So you didn't miss anything. It's all on here. And I put in a bunch of links. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because usually within a day, I turn around and I upload it onto my YouTube channel. So, yeah, you can watch it there too. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I have to go get ready. Um, we have our design group tonight, so I don't want to miss LaVon's design. I'm so excited to see it. Um, so if you're thinking of joining a group, think about joining ours. Join it for a month. Try it out. I think you'll have a good time. We do a lot of stuff, and we have a lot of neat stuff coming up for this year. So... Stay tuned. And remember, I'm on Wednesday afternoons at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I was hoping to do something with the pom-poms, and I'm actually um, making some hearts out of a sweater, a red sweater. So, hope we see you over in group joy in, in our design group. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great night and stay safe, okay? All right, good night.